Hi there, my name is Kunenberg and welcome to my channel. This is another set of a film reviews um, where I pick three films, uh, usually lower than about five in IMDb, so you know 4.9 or something like that, or maybe even five, but quite low. I try, I try to go for. Um, sometimes they could be um, all black and white, so even a film that isn't really a low rating to like some of the black and whites, but are films that you may or may not really have heard of. You know, like from 1960 or or, or something it's that, that it's quite cool, but people don't tend to watch. What I've done with these um, later videos, as opposed to my first three, I think, uh, is I've actually put some images in there. So the first ones I didn't, but these ones now are. So they have um, uh, they have the, the the basic DVD cover, and then um, when the cast and crew come up, there's images so you can actually visualize who they actually are sometimes I'm trying to take the images from the actual film and if not there will be generic images um, and also the trailer if I can find one is in there um, that will just be mute as in no no volume um, but so that'll be in the background you can watch that while I'm talking so at least then again you can see what you what I'm talking about um, and it's a trailer it's not I'm not nicking any film or anything it's stuff that's out there on the internet to watch for free on IMDB or or wherever even on YouTube if I can't find it um, the trailer I mean not the film um, so yeah so that's what I'm going to be doing hopefully this this setup is good um, and uh, and yeah hopefully you'll enjoy it okay let's, uh, let's talk about the films Okay, so the next uh, film that I, uh, I've just looked at is called Ice Spiders. Um, so it's a uh, TV movie. Um, Amazon have it as a comedy horror action. I'll put it more as a horror action. I'll put it as a comedy. Uh, it came out in 2007. It's rated 18 plus in Amazon. It's an hour and 26 minutes. Amazon rating is a 4, IMDb is a 3.1, um, and the Amazon synopsis is A top secret government facility in the mountains of Utah is creating genetically modified spiders under the direction of Dr. April Summers. When the monstrous arachnids escape, they threaten to eat up the entire tourist population at the nearby ski resorts. Dr. Summers must enlist the help of the army, Captain Baker and retired Olympic skier Dan Dashiell to stop the disaster. Um, so, just so you know, the, the image that you can see, the spiders are not that big. <laughs> They're not, but then you can see that in the trailer. Um, so the uh, the cast and crew. So we have the director is Tybor Takas, T A K A C S, and he directed Black Warrant. Um, the producer, and there's a few as usual, so I've only taken the two. So we've got Paul Colickman, um, who is spelt, uh, let me just get his real name one second before I balls it up. Um, Paul C O L I C H M A N, and he produced um, Gods and Masters, Monsters even, sorry. Um, Andrea Hess, um, who did Deep Freeze, and music was by Penka, P-E-N-K-A, Kuneva, um, K-O-U-N-E-V-A, and he did the music for, um, or she, or whatever, for Encounter. Now the cast, we have uh, one character that, if you've seen the film, you'll know it, Patrick Muldoon. Who's playing Dan Dash Dashel? Dash is in inverted symbols, uh, and he was in Starship Troopers. Uh, as soon as I saw it, I was like, "Ah, it's him!" Uh, Vanessa Williams is Dr. April Summers, and she was in Candyman, believe it or not, the original one. David Milburn, who was Professor Marx, was in Gods and Monsters. So you know the the um, the producer there did that one, and he was in it. And Noah Bast Bastian. Uh, plays Chad, give me teeth in Chad Brown, and he was also in Jag, J A G. The budget's two million dollars. Uh, that's one million nine 
118,000 euros. Or because the sterling's plummeting faster than um, a lead balloon, 100, uh, 1,652,000 pounds. So it's and uh, it's also known as cold snap, which is a bit, a bit of a weird word. Uh, cold snap is usually when it's a bit nippy outside, a bit cold. You know, it's a bit of a cold snap going on. The weather, you know, the, the snow's just appeared, it's a cold snap. Not, it's spiders appearing. Um, it said it was filmed in Ohio, um, in the actual synopsis. And at the very beginning, it starts off with sunny views of um, snowy mountains. And it does say Utah in the actual, I think it was in, um, I can't remember what mountain it was. Um, so I thought, well, is it Utah? And then at the very end of the credits are rolling up. It does say, you know, thank you to Utah. So yes, it's filmed in Utah. Um, anyway, we see the spider straight away, and there's no partial views. So what I mean by that is sometimes you see like a, you know, a bit of a leg, or you know, nothing really happening at the very beginning. But you do see the actual spiders, and this is literally the very beginning. I think the first couple of uh, couple of minutes, um, and that's the bit that's in the trailer at the beginning. Uh, so it's decent killing, nothing gory to start with, because it's you know, it's just died. Um, so, Dash, what's his name, Dash, Dan Dash Dashiel, who was called Dash all the way through the entire film, um, is like a pro coach for skiing, uh, you know, he's basically used to be a, a pro player, uh, and now he's teaching people, and he's obviously getting the people that just have no clue what they're doing. It kind of reminds me from Candy Shack, if anyone's seen Candy Shack, it's classic uh, comedy um, in it and um, uh, Ch uh, Chevy Chase is in it he's, he's brilliant in it but basically in there there's a, a guy that's teaching the people how to golf and he's just losing his mind um, so the spiders view their prey as you, you'll see and they look like they're just looking through two eyes um, like a pair of binoculars, even though they have, what, eight? Multiple, I don't know how many eyes they have, they have enough. So that's a bit bizarre. Um, so, so the woman in the in the research facility, that's April, April Summers. Um, you know, the, the, the character, her real name is Vanessa Williams. Um, and so she's hiding from a spider. So as usual, you're keeping quiet, you don't want anyone to know you're there, and you have to put your hand as high up onto the bench, because you hide it behind the bench, high up onto the bench so that you grab something you weren't going to grab before, because your hand is below it. And it's a metal dish. So you do the do the maths. Guess what happens, you know. It's like the famous, are they going to chip over and hurt their leg? So the special effects are actually good. Um, so I looked at some dead bodies, and you can see that it's quite decent. Um, know how they're done and the spiders are different colors they're not all the same color uh, I think some are like yellow and all sorts of stuff and that's quite nice uh, and it's good watching them scudding around as well when you see them running after people going across the snow they, they look like they're actually there you know and they look really good and the, the actors are doing really well now there's a quote as usual I always find odd quotes now and then um, kind of so one of the hotel staff members um, which I think is just some sort of receptionist, uh, says, oh, the spiders have come from that secret lab. And then Dash says, you're kidding me. And then the female doctor says, call the lab. So he starts to dial. Well, how can he dial if it's a secret lab? <laughs> it's a secret. And I'm pretty sure the hotel ain't going to have the bloody phone number. Anyway, the story's pretty cool. I mean, the... There's a few one-liners. The acting's good. Um, th there is one guy that uh, they that is mentioned in the trailer when it comes up. Uh, Stephen J. Cannell. You can't hear it because I've got the audio turned off. And he's in there. Um, but it, yeah, it's it's fine for what it is. It's good. Um, and the spiders, like I say, they're running after Dash at certain points, and. Um, they look like they're actually in the snow creating these little um, trails, which is kind of bizarre because you would assume a spider would create these like little like footsteps, eight of them. So maybe they're on a on a something being dragged. But it looks kind of cool because when he ran, 
they were after him. And I thought that was that was good. It's good editing. Um, so there's not much I can really say about it because I don't want to give any any the film away. But it was a decent ending. Um, again, I kind of like good endings, like anyone. Um, it's a bit of a twist, I would say. Kind of cool. Um, now it's got what a 3.1 in IMDb. Did I say that 3.1? Yeah, 3.1. I don't really go off Amazon synopsis, uh, Amazon reviews because a four doesn't mean anything because you can't really go low. But with IMDb, it's quite a decent spread. Um, but I'm actually going to give it a five. I, I think it was actually quite good. I, it kept me entertained. There were times when I was thinking, oh, hang on, I'm supposed to be scribbling stuff down so I can remember what the hell I've just watched. Because, you know, I, I can just literally go off kilt and start talking about it, but it kind of helps if you have a little bit of a note now and then. Uh, that's why it sounds like I'm kind of reading off a script, because I'm kind of reading off my notes. <laughs> uh, and the music was kind of rock metal, I would say, more like hard rock. Not soft, sort of pissy music, but some kind of really heavy music, uh, which was kind of, not all the time, but certain parts. So that was that, that was nice to listen to. Um, so yeah, yeah, I enjoyed it. Well worth it. Definitely get it. And again, this was another one that's on Amazon Prime. So if you have Prime Video or Amazon Prime, you can watch it for free. Okay, right, let's go and find the next one. Okay, so this one is called The Hive. Uh, it's a TV movie, uh, which I kind of would have guessed. Uh, it's a, according to Amazon, it's a sci fi horror action film. Came out in 2008. It's an hour and a half and um, it's rated as a 16 plus. Amazon's giving it a rating of 4, um, IMDb rating of 3.2. Uh, so the synopsis is, and I'll do the Amazon one, when ants display never before seen behavior sees an island, the controversial thorax team is called to stop the massive threat, only to discover that the ants are controlled by something beyond this world. So um, the, the director, uh, it's Peter Manis, and he was uh, a director for 999-9999. And also, he was the TV newscaster in the film Croc, which I reviewed a while ago. So that was kind of interesting. Um, the uh, the producer is Robert Halmy Sr. and, and uh, A. Halmy, um, who was in Olympus and Rose, respectively. Uh, they've also been in plenty of the films that I've reviewed as in producers. Uh, music was done by Charles Olins and Mark Ryder, and again, they were uh, doing the music for A Blood Monkey and A Croc, both of which I've reviewed before. Uh, now the cast, we have Tom Wopat, W-O-P-A-T, he was Bill, and he was famous for Dukes of Hazzard. Uh, Cal Webber, who played Len, and he was in Hackers. Elizabeth Healy, who was Claire, and she was in Eve, E-V-E, and Mark Ramsey, who was Cortez, and he was in Not Going Out. It's also known as Them, which is interesting because there was a film called Them, or They, or whatever it is, the Stephen King, so there you go, but that's Japanese, I think, and it was filmed in Krabi in Thailand, which is, you know, understandable if you've seen uh, Croc, or at least my review of Croc, uh, and I think Blood Monkey might have been in Thailand as well. I think they're all kind of in Thailand areas. That's it's interesting, like, the, the, the place. So, straight from the off, there's a killing, before even before the credits even start. Now, again, I'm, I'm putting in, as I've said before, I'm, I'm putting the, the images as it comes along, you know, the trailer. So you'll see it. It's a bit, you know, not perfect, but it is what it is. So, um, so like I say, it's like two non-blockbuster-type films. It doesn't distinguish who it kills, and that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say anything else. Um, and what I'm saying is, if you've seen or heard my reviews, because uh, you know some of the early reviews I've done for, say, uh, The Prey or anything like that, they don't distinguish between, oh, there's an old lady, there's a young kid. You know, whereas blockbuster films tend to do that. They tend to go, oh, can't touch that area, can't kill a kid. Um, and... There was also quite a lot of bit of information about the ants. Not the ants in the film, but ants in general. There's like this Dr. Harping on, um, who I think was um, Elizabeth Healy. And uh, that was quite interesting. I think it was Elizabeth Healy. I don't know. There were two females in the film, if that makes sense. And I'm damned if I know which one was which. Um, 
there was Debs, which I'm assuming is... I don't know which one it was. Um, so the, the ants running after the humans is quite good. Uh, so basically, everyone's running there. I'm not giving the film, film away here because you, you, you know you can understand. But the, even the soldiers are running away. And everyone's just legging it, and um, the the editing's quite good. Where there's somebody falls over and then gets eaten, or gets covered and eaten alive, as it were, and bodies dissolve in real time. It's not that kind of shitty sort of. Oh look, here it is, slowly going like like a typical 60s film. It's not 60s, but you know what I mean. Um, now the team from Thorax, they use some very high-tech equipment, like they're off to the moon or something to fight aliens. It's, it's not what I was expecting when they're going after ants. And they're all kind of amazed that there are all these new kind of type of ants they've never seen before. It's like, well, what the hell are you firing at them then? Why don't you, not, I don't know, use Weedle. Not Weedle. What's the other stuff? Bug, bug, whatever it's called. Now, there was an interesting twist, and I'm not going to spoil it. But the ants then die swirling in the air and they attacked and then twist. The twist happened. So it, 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 it's kind of weird when you, when you see them. You think, what the hell? You know, it's not it's not ants as in your garden variety ants. Because um, uh, normally I, 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 I watch films always on in the dark and stuff. But um, it was on Amazon and the volume was the kind of... Here it is, quite loud. Ah! It's like, oh my god, turn the volume down, turn the volume down. Oh, yeah, it's like, oh. I hate them type of films. It's so annoying. So the, the, the swarms, or the swirling in the air, if you've only everyone seen Donnie Darko, there's the wormhole, or worms, like the, the, the water thing that comes out the, out the body and then moves around. It reminds me of that, or maybe, was it the abyss, I think, where there was that water creature? I can't remember off the top of my head. I think it was the abyss. Um, anyway, it's not water, but you know what I mean. It's that kind of swirly thing. Uh, and it's definitely keeping me interest now. When I watched it, I, I, I was watching the swarm inside a cave and stuff, and then I ended up forgetting to actually remember to write anything down as watching this film. <laughs> I'm like, oh, hang on. Uh, which is kind of cool, in my mind. Uh, the old love connection. I mean... Yeah, you, you you probably have gathered that would have happened at the very beginning. Music changed, you know. Um, and even though they're they're being chased by rabid ants, why not just have a romantic time on a lake? Sunshine, or some moonlight, some music. Yeah, I draw the picture. Um. And I must admit that at the end of the film, I'll actually be watched looking at ants in a whole new light, because they aren't as dumb as you all think they are. You know, they go and do their little bits and bats, but, you know, they, they're pretty pretty damn adaptive. Um, now, Bill, uh, who is uh, Tom Wopat, who actually isn't the main guy as such. I think it's Len who's the main guy. Let me have a little double check. Uh, yeah, Len's the main guy. And it's supposed to be him, but uh, Tom Wopat is the um, is is one of the one of the crew, as it were. But he seems to be the only one that seems to take the death of people to heart. You know, it's like booing his eyes out, drinking, and everything else. Old Len, don't give. It's like, oh God, he's dead. Right, let's go over here and have a drink of tea. And it's like, what? Um, and he hates ants with a passion. Gee, I can't imagine why. Uh. So I'm not giving everything away because it, there's not much to give away. Uh, but the film had a good storyline. You know, the background was quite good, and you know, the, as in explaining stuff. And the, I liked the fact that it was done in Thailand again. I, I don't know if they have some sort of um, tax thing. I know a lot of people do films in America in Canada because of the tax thing. Um, the acting was quite good, quite decent. I actually enjoyed it. I'm actually going to give it a five. You know. I'm not giving it anything higher because there were some pretty crappy points, um, but it, it was good from what I can see. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely interesting. Okay, so I will select the next one. Hang on a second. Yeah, okay. Okay, so this is Krampus Unleashed, a hover. 
came out in 2016. It's rated 18. It's an hour and 19 minutes. Amazon have a rating of 3.5. IMDb of 2.5. Uh, a group of fortune hunters are hot in pursuit of buried treasure when they inadvertently unearth a demonic summoning stone. Little do they know that the stone holds the Krampus, and they have awoken a timeless evil. After centuries of slumber, Krampus is now awake and has a thirst for blood. Uh, director is Robert Conway, and he directed Redemption. The uh, producer is also Robert Conway, and he did um, Exit to Hell as he produced, and also a Molly Cornwell she produced The Confident. Music was by John Rios, R-I-O-S, and from what I gather he's done no other composer music of films. Now the cast we have Amelia Brantley was Bonnie and she was in the Lincoln Lawyer series that's just been on Netflix. Tim Sawyer who was Will and he was in Krampus the Reckoning. Daniel Link was Dave in Mind the Gap and Julia Rose Rosa Serato is Fran and she was in Santa Fake and it was located or film was location was at Mesa M E S A Arizona USA. Now as it says the fortune hunters though it, it is basically what they say that they, 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 they stumble across Krampus and wake him up. Now as usual it's filmed in the dark so you can't see a damn thing. Um, don't know why they do it. I, I, every horror seems to have it, and it annoys the hell out of me. But anyway, there you go. Um, and then the music kicked in, and it's the uh, cover of Let It Snow, Let It Snow, The Weather Outside, and that one there. But it's a quite a cheery cover. Quite a good one, actually. So we have two families visiting Gran and Grandpa. Okay, and one of them just stopped off for petrol and met two trackers looking for the, you know, the Sasquatch, the Yeti, whatever his name was. Um... I think we all know what's going to happen with those two uh, two trackers, possibly. Um, oh, and also the families are not great fans of each other. They hate each other. So, um, you know, there you go. So, the acting is a bit of the, you talk, now I'll talk. Okay, you talk. Okay, now I'll talk. And it's just like... There's no flow, it's just like they're reading off a script while they're acting, if you know what I mean. Like, okay, so should I go over here? Yes, that's that. I, I would go there. Okay, I'll go there. Yes, sounds good. Oh my god. So the father, who is um, Daniel Link, um, has this, this weird issue. So he meets someone and says, Hi, yes, I'm Dave. So the other person says, oh, hi Dave, and then he goes, oh, actually, it's David. And it's just like, what the hell? Well, why do you why do you call yourself Dave, and then when somebody says, hi Dave, you then correct it to say you're David. It, it does a few times as well through the film, it got a bit kind of, please, for the love of God, kill him. Um, <laughs> Troy, my God. He's... He's not listed in one of the um, the cast members, but he is he's one of the sons. He's the son of um, of Dave, and I uh, when I saw him, I thought, please, if anybody wants to kill anybody, he's the one. Please kill him first, get us out of our misery. Unfortunately, not. But the it's just like oh, you know, you see one of those little shits, and you think, yeah, kill him. So. As you know, I like to find these little quotes in films. They're, they're quite enjoyable as I watch them all. It's kind of a bit humorous. I don't know why they all seem to do it. A lot of the AAA films don't do it. You know, the um, you know the ones with Tom Cruise and that. Unless it's classified as a comedy. So the two trackers are off, surprisingly enough, to go and find Sasquatch. Um, in the middle of nowhere, drinking as usual. And one says he doesn't believe in killing a one of a kind, so of course they're going to find him and then he's saying, oh, we're going to kill him. It's like, what? Kill him? But he's a one of a kind. And he says, and the other one says, you, you you, probably not heard of Darwin, natural selection and shit. And then the other one replies with, didn't he used to drive that old Chevy? He went, what man? No, Darwin was like a thousand years ago. I thought, yeah, that made me kind of chuckle when I was listening to it, because obviously one didn't know anything about it. And yeah, yeah, it was, it was funny at the time. Now I finally saw a killing, I thought sort of for you to be really honest. Uh, it was a bit quick. It just sort of 
slump down, like they're dead. Um, and then it was back in the sudden dark again, you can't see a thing, so it's like, oh, great. Um, now there's some more killing, obviously. Uh, there was an arm ripped off, but there was no screaming, and it wasn't like he died instantly, he had his arm ripped off, it was Will to, to throw that in there. But it, it just kind of went, I was like, Okay, you can scream, he just walks around with his arm hanging off. Well, off. Now, Krampus, you've probably seen in the trailer as you, as you watch it, kind of reminds me of the rabbit from Donnie Darko. Um, you know, the the, the pointy ears. Um, and that's about as close as it'll ever get. You can obviously tell what it is <laughs> from the, from the um, trailer. So they go back in the desert and it's pitch black again. Because of course they're out in the middle of nowhere. Grand and Grandpa live in this lovely place but I don't see that ever any lights at all in the garden. So you can't see a damn thing. And everything's outside. Nobody ever kills anybody inside the house. You know, the lights on and you know, TV on and anything like that. No, 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 no. We have to do it outside in the desert. Pitch black. Thank you so much. Um... Anyway, so there's not much really to say about it except for what I've said, but the ending was different. It's not what I was expecting at all. Um, I'm not going to give the game away. The game away. The, the ending away. Um, but this, you know, you, again, you watch some films with like, I don't know, um, Lawrence Fishbourne and all that, and you kind of know what the ending's going to be. You think, oh yeah, I know what's going to happen here. But this one, you go, yeah, 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 it's going to, oh no, wait, what was that? Um, and the end credits was good because what it had um, when you know when you're you, you normally have the credit like for example who I've got here I've got um, Amelia Bentley was Bonnie um, she's one of the daughters uh, and you're like the castle come up thinking who the hell was that person I don't know oh Fran Fran was the uh, 911 caller she was the typical kind of I, 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 I've, I there's an emergency. Okay then, what is it? There's a murderer. Okay, ma'am. Okay, oh my God. Um, so it, that would come up, but what they did is they had uh, the images of the character next to the name of the of the person, which I thought was quite fun. Um, uh, what do I give it? Do I give it a two point five? You know, I give it a three, and about as good as I'm ever going to give it. So there you go. Okay, well, right. I shall uh, hopefully enjoy listening to this one and watching the the bits, like I say, from what I'm doing now, uh, and I'll uh, go to the next one. <laughs>